What's going on everyone? Doing another draft here for All Will Be One on MTG Arena. If you like these videos, please hit that like and subscribe button. So our first draft, we kind of got lucky. We forced Blue Black and then we opened a Kato second uh, pack. So we'll see what we get here today. We got a Glissa Sun Slayer, which will probably be the pick. This card is just super strong. 3-3 three, three Death Touch for a strike. When it deals combat damage to a player, you can draw a card. Lose a life. Destroy target enchantment or remove three counters from a permanent. So pretty strong creature. I mean, even just 3-3 three, three first strike death touch is super, super strong. Um, we'll see what else is in the pack. This is going to put us into green, black. Um, not passing too many really good cards. The uncommons are just okay here. Um, not a whole lot in the pack that sticks out, really. Um, other than the rare, so pretty happy to take that. We'll see what we get past here. So we get a Rot Priest in blue, in, uh, not blue, in black, green. Whenever a creature you control with Toxic deals combat damage to a player, that player gets an additional poison counter. Target creature you control with Toxic gains death touch until end of turn. So that's probably going to be our pick, kind of staying on colors. There's a Filigree Silex, um, so you can put a counter on it. Sacrifice it, destroy each non-land permanent with mana value equal to the number of counters on it. Or remove 10 counters from permanents you control and sacrifice it and deals 10 damage. That's that's not bad. It's good for like an oil strategy type deck or it just blows up something, everything up with a certain uh, mana cost. Uh, the scamp is okay. Not really passing too much else in the commons here, which is kind of nice as well. So we'll take the Rot Priest here. Uh, just stays on color, and I think that'll be pretty good uh, card as well. So we want to get some creatures with um, with toxic. So I don't think black actually has too many toxic creatures. Probably gonna actually have to get more toxic creatures from um, from green. So the mycons mycosynth here turns everything into artifacts. Not really that good. Could potentially be good in the right artifact deck, but. Um, not really something we want to play. Affinity for equipment. Probably not going equipment, so we don't really want that. Complete Devotion is not bad. It's white, though. I don't know if we want to go... We could possibly go three colors. The Glider is not bad as well. White has a lot of toxic creatures, so... Splashing for, like, green or black might not be totally out of the question. Um, but the... Dune Mover here might just be a safer pick. Uh, so he comes in a battlefield. You can search the library for basic land, put it on top of your library. So probably just take that. Nice two drop. It's got Toxic one as well, which kind of synergizes with the Rot Priest. So happy to get that. Okay, we get a Immobilizer, which is pretty good. It's in blue, so probably not taking it. The Sprinter here um, puts oil counters on things when it comes into play. Proliferate, Duress, Maze's Mantle is okay. And we get a Death Touch, Toxic 1. Not sure if we want to possibly try three colors. Nothing in this pack really stands out. We could take the Sprinter, possibly. The Testament Bearer is okay. That's okay. Maze's Mantle is okay, but... I guess we'll take the Sprinter, just nothing else really in the pack. So Scrap Trap here is pretty good for Proliferate. It's also just a 4-4 four, four for 5, which is not bad. We got a Toxic Flying. This is okay. We might take that. A couple of red cards, Thirsting Roots. This Attendant is actually not bad. Um, I think it's between the Attendant or the Siphoner here. I know we're kind of going off colors here. We really want to stay on black-green, so this might send a bit of a weird signal. Um, yeah, we'll take the we'll take the Siphoner here. Not really committed to white. Uh, destroy target artifact creature or flying. That's permanent was three or less proliferates. So that's not bad. 
probably good enough to main deck a lot of times because you'll get a lot of targets out of it. I think we take the Raptor here though. We've seen some white cards going around and this Raptor is going around pretty late so it seems like white is probably open. We might just end up splashing green. So something like the Prism would be really good. Cultivator is okay. It doesn't add mana of any color which is kind of annoying. The Rat is also pretty good. Hopefully we'll find some more fixing or I guess the Rat is not terribly important for our deck so maybe the prism's better here because so we might go white we might just go white black splash green or something like that so we'll take the prism there i think that's probably a safer pick won't be terribly upset if we don't get uh, another rat in our deck uh okay so we got a four four there giant growth type card this Blister Zoa is pretty good going around pretty late. Not really playing artifacts. Kind of sucks. Blue, these are two really strong blue cards. I'm kind of surprised they're going around this late. I guess we'll just take the 4 4 here. Not terribly excited about that pick, but. Okay, we got a Head Cleaver coming back around, so that's pretty nice. Not much else in the pack for us that are on color. Uh, this is also pretty good. It doesn't have Toxic, but it's a 4-3, and when it attacks, you can pump it up to a 5-4 and untap it, so pretty strong card. A couple of blue cards here. This, uh, Insurgent's, Insurgent's Insight, pretty good. Kind of surprised, a lot of good blue cards still floating around. Uh, this is not bad. We could take the land here, but I think if we're playing three colors... Eh... Take this. I think we might go white, black, just splash green. I'm surprised this is still going around. I'll take the Testament Bearer here. Okay, so a bit of an awkward first pack. Hopefully we get more green and black this uh, second pack here. Alright, so we got the Icar Moon Gauntlet. This card is pretty fun, but uh, not really for draft. Gotta have a lot of Planeswalkers, but... Could be good in um, in standard or something like that, but not really that good for draft. Um, Vat of Rebirth. So I think this you gotta really proliferate because four counters is a lot. Turn target permanent card from your graveyard to hand, proliferate, so that's pretty good. Golem's okay, but we're not really going much with the oil counters. Plague Nurse is not bad. I think it's between this or the Planar Disruption. Might even get one of these on the wheel. Might just go probably force white a bit here. I don't know. Removal is always good, so we'll take that. Um, I guess we're not really much in black, so we could maybe just splash black. So maybe we'll just go green white. Um, Venomous Brutalizer is pretty good. Uh, be nice to get some two drops like Duelist if we're going pretty much white green and just splashing for black here. Um, a lot of blue in here. Uh, not too much else in the pack here. Kind of a weird pack, six blue cards. Uh, but I think the Brutalizer is pretty good. Maybe we'll go into green. And... Maybe we'll just kind of stay off of black. As I say that, we get a paladin here, which is pretty good. Enters the battlefield or turn to our creature card with mana value three or less to your hand. Uh, the battle chair is pretty good as well. Just a 6-6 six, six trample for six. And you can equip it for seven. The dancer is also really good. So really good cards, black, green. Got a plague nurse here. Um... I think we're going to probably want to just splash for black. I mean, this is splashable. I think the chair is just maybe a little bit better. I don't know. A little bit fatter. Not really sure. Okay, we got a land here. Inquiry is okay. Crawling course could be okay as well. 
I don't know how aggressive we're gonna go, so I'm not sure we really want that. Spell bomb's okay, or skull bomb, but three one toxic two is pretty strong. I think we're gonna go white. I think we're gonna go white. Uh, white green here. Probably cut out black, except for just a couple splash cards. Kind of those two. Probably not even that. Um, so this just gets lands or proliferate. It's not really that good for us. That's kind of crappy too. Wow, really terrible pack for us here. This land isn't even really that good either because we need black to sack it and we're probably just splashing. Um, guess we'll take this as a combat trick. Probably not even going to play it though. Okay, Canker Bloom here is pretty good. 3 2 for 2. Sinew Dancer is pretty good as well. I'm just doing the Dancer and the Canker Bloom here. We'll take the Dancer. Kanger Bloom's pretty good, but... Okay, so we get some good cards here. We get Duelist and Complete Devotion. Almost want to take the Devotion over this. I don't know, really tough choice here. Just such a strong card. Being able to draw a card... ...is pretty sweet. Maybe we'll go with that. We've already got one Prism. I don't know if we need two. And hopefully we get more of these. 2-2 two, two for a strike, though. Toxic 1 is really nice. Hopefully we see another one. Okay, we see another prism, so I think we'll go ahead and take that. Another complete devotion. Don't know if... I mean, probably playing 2 or 3 is definitely not a bad thing. Um, I think the Plague Nurse, though, here is pretty good. Toxic 2. Probably want some more 3 drops. All blue cards here. I guess we'll take the offer immortality there, but probably not going to play it. Uh, I guess we'll take the mirror here. If we have to, we'll play it. Not terribly excited. We might play the inquiry if we have to. So unfortunately, we didn't see too much black. I mean, we kind of we're on the fence between going black or white. We probably could have forced just green black, but I felt like we just were not seeing very many good black cards. Not terribly upset with this deck so far. So we get a Staff of Completion. Pay one life, destroy target permanent, add one mana, proliferate, draw a card. Not even sure how good this really is, especially for our deck. I mean, pay for a life, draw a card is really all we want, which can be a pretty steep price. Pay one life, destroy target permanent you own. I'm not even sure why you would really want to do that often. Paying two, two life for a mana, three life for proliferate. I don't know. This doesn't seem that good for us. I think I'd rather just have a viral spawning here. Not much else in the pack for green, black, even white. There's not much, so... Could be a really weird pick. I don't know, maybe the staff is way better than I think, but I think just for our deck, I don't know. Maybe it's the wrong pick there, but... Okay, so we got some good cards here. I think the Jawbone Duelist might be the pick. Um, Necro Titan's pretty good. 6-6. Six, six. Sack a creature unless the opponent has three or more poison counters. Could be pretty good. It's double black though, so it's a little bit unfortunate. I think the Duelist here might be the pick. Maybe we can get some other ways to pump this up. I mean, we've got uh, we got one pump spell here, but could take something like Titanic Growth. But we'll take this, I guess. Pretty good two drop. Uh, that rear is pretty terrible. What's down here? So it's three drop, four drop. 
Spell Bomb could be okay. I guess it does replace itself, so you draw a card, give something 2-2 two -two and flying. Not the worst. Crawling Chorus here as well. Or another 4 drop. Eh, maybe just take the 1-1 one -one here. Maybe it's the wrong pick, but... Nothing really stood out as being the best card in that pack. Draw 3 and lose 3 life. That's not bad. Each opponent who has 3 or more poison cows loses 3 life. But I think it's between this or the chorus. Another one. I don't know if we want 2 of them. We do want some more creatures. So hopefully we pick up a few more. I guess we'll probably pay it, play that card. Not really getting a whole lot of white cards now. Could take the Spell Bomb or the Golem. I don't know, we don't really have much... Uh... We'll just take the land here. <clears throat> don't really have much... Many three drops that are that good. Another Plague Nurse here, or another Complete Devotion. We have quite a bit of Toxic in our deck, so I feel like this is pretty good. I think we got enough 4 drops. I think we'll take another Devotion. We do want some more creatures, though. Um, Trolls Knight, bad. Another Sinew Dancer, or... And eh, Lightbringer's not that good. We don't have... Equipment and stuff. Probably another Sinew Dancer. This is pretty good, but I think we've got a decent amount of card draw already. Um, so a couple things we could pick, pick here. The land's definitely good. Skull Bomb's not bad as well. Can return something. Or I don't think we'll take that. I think we'll take the land. Another land here as well, or a spot skull bomb. Probably play this actually. This is also not bad as well. Three three and trample. Uh, charge of the mites though. I think we need more removal. Surprise! This is still going around. This and that red card too, and this. So blue might have been pretty open. I don't know. Didn't really want to play blue black again, but it seems like blue might have been open. A lot of late cards going around for blue there, so. So our deck looks not bad. It might be a little bit awkward with mana costs and things like that, but I think we've got a pretty strong deck. We might cut that out. And we're at 40 now, so that's pretty good. 9, 10, 17. Alright, yeah, I guess we can try that. A little light on creatures, only 12, so... It's not the best. I guess this is kind of like a creature, though. So, 12... 13 creatures. We've got a lot of card draw, so that should help us get our creatures. I guess this is pretty much a creature, so 14. So Okay, not too bad. Let's see how, so, see how we do here. We are a little light on removal, so if anything, we might have some issues getting rid of creatures, but we'll see how the deck plays out here. And this is what I was kind of afraid of. Uh, kind of getting color screwed here. Um, I think we gotta take a mulligan. Just can't really play anything here. We are on the draw, so hopefully this is better. Um, yeah, two drop into a four drop, so definitely keeping. I think it's just whether or not we want. So we'll get rid of the plague nurse. Go 
go ahead and get that out first. Um, actually, don't even mind trading off for this because that thing's going to get pretty annoying. Alright, so unfortunately we didn't have a pump spell there, because that would have been nice to save it and draw a card. Um, and now we're getting flooded with lands, so... Hopefully we draw something next turn. Alright, that is a little bit scary. Probably just take four here because I can pump this up and swing back in for five next turn. Does not crew an attack, so that's kind of nice. Alright, so we're getting a ton of land. Eight lands so far and four cards, so we're gonna have a tough time winning this game if we cannot uh, draw anything else here. Looks like he doesn't want to attack with this, so I'm okay maybe just holding up for now. I could trade off, but if he's happy not trading off here, I'm happy just sitting here as well. Alright, so we are just getting no land or nothing but lands here. I wonder if he's got a lot of lands too. He hasn't really been doing much either, so... Seemed like he didn't have any instants there either at the end of the turn, so... Kind of a weird game, doesn't really want to trade off here, I don't know why. But I'm happy not trading off. Kind of weird he's attacking now, maybe he's just uh, wanting to get in for damage, has a blocker back now, or he could have draw a pump spell, I don't know. I guess that's why. Probably could have traded off there, but we'll see. We can wait a turn. I think we'll go ahead and attack now. Um, actually, maybe not. What does this do? When it dies, return that card to the battlefield under our control, so... I guess I'll just block and then proliferate me again, so... I think we just hold up. We'll keep this for defense. Don't even want to do that, we don't need any more land.
gonna get poisoned out here. Guess we'll try and save this. Hopefully it doesn't have a trick here. need a removal for this raptor otherwise we're screwed I guess we still have one more turn but if this thing dies so we're gonna have to take damage from that can't really even attack I think we have to play this out and kill his flyer. Really wanted to get this out, but I don't think we can. More worried about poison than my actual life at this point. Chomp and take six if he's got no way of killing this. Yeah, sure, let's go ahead and do that. proliferate there. I think we're still screwed unless we don't have double pump so
Our deck was uh, not great there. Drew too many lands. Not sure the color combinations are great either. I mean, white, black, green might be decent in the format, just the cards and deck we have is not great. We don't have a ton of removal either, so that is also going to hurt us pretty bad. I guess mulliganing to six and then getting a bunch of lands to start the game doesn't help either, so... A little bit frustrating there, but... Alright, we'll go ahead and keep this. Pretty good hand. Two drop, three drop. Two drop into the Duelist, and then into the... Raptor could be pretty devastating. Didn't even really need to uh, pump it up there, so that's good. So that's a little bit annoying, but... Got the pressure on here, so that's good so far. And it's a pretty aggressive attack here.
We'll go for our land because now we can play both of these next turns. Probably game here unless he's got something pretty big, but can't even kill my creature with that, so. All right, that was a much better start. We had a pretty good curve out there. Probably the best we would get. So, can't complain about that one. Pretty much drew our best cards. All right, opponent goes first. We got some decent action here. Probably, it's tough. I don't know if I want to play this first or not. Okay, that'll probably make me want to play that first. And then we can get the duelist out. Play this on turn three. Okay, now I'm wondering, well... Hmm. Do we just play out a spell bomb and play this out? Guess might as well use our mana efficiently. Could play Spellbomb and Dancer next turn. Just probably the play we can't really get through. He's got two mana as well, so. Looks like he might have a counter or a removal, but. Give that thing flying again with the spell bomb or if we just get in with the raptor we can start tapping things down with the dancer so that's pretty nice go ahead and chomp that off gets a card from that but that's fine Actually, spell bomb the might here. Keep this back on defense. Does lose one, prevents us from giving one. Be one less damage. Actually, no, it'd be three less damage. One less poison counter. I guess it doesn't really matter. He can hit us for four next turn. I don't really care. I guess we'll do it on the duelist. <clears throat> I might not even tap down his 4-1 here. He wants to attack into me, that's fine. That's fine. Get aggressive here. All 
Alright, he was a 9, so if he doesn't have anything, he's dead next turn to this flyer. He might even just be dead because he's not going to have enough blockers. Got three Toxic on the table. And tap one down. All right, so a little bit of a trick there, but it didn't really matter. <clears throat> I didn't even notice he put that in his graveyard. I guess when his creature died there, he put one into his hand and the other in the graveyard. Wasn't really paying attention. I also didn't expect him to be able to reanimate that, but got the win all right we go first not a bad hand here a little bit slow but we got a little bit of this kind of is removal and our revival spawning so we'll go ahead and keep this we're also on the play here too if we we're on the draw this hand would be a lot worse but We'll go and get a land here. Do we need any need double green for a few things? That's about it. So I guess we'll go and get another forest. This thing's a one two, which is a little bit annoying. Taps out, we could kill it with the mites as long as our creatures survive. Not sure how annoying this thing will actually get. Might as well start getting aggressive here. So it seems like with him wanting to trade off there and not attacking into us, he's just going to concede. There we go. <laughs> I was going to say he's just going to play defensively, but I guess he didn't have much there and just kind of thought that was game, so kind of awkward. Probably a pretty early concede there, but I'll take it. My hand wasn't even that good there. I mean, we definitely had some card draw and some things to play, so I think we would have been fine, but... I don't think the game would have been over next turn or the next couple turns, but maybe he just had no more mana, nothing really to play, so. Alright, we got a Doom over here, so we'll get land, prism, so this is pretty good. We got our viral spawning again, so go ahead and keep this hand. <clears throat> Go and get a planes here, even though we don't have any white cards in our hand. We only really need a couple double green, and we've got the prism, so once we get one of each color, we should be good. Go ahead and swing. Play our spawning. Another chance we get a land off the prism here. Either that or we play this. I think we gotta go land here, or we could have played that. 
Ah. Alright, so that really sucks. Missing that land drop. We could have had the Plague Nurse out last turn. Probably just going to get poisoned out this game anyways, but... We'll go ahead and swing in here, and then play the Plague Nurse out. Could have a counter, actually. But I think we have to stay aggressive. If he wants to trade off here, that's fine. Looks like he'll trade here, which is fine. I mean, this is going to die eventually. We don't have any exile effects, I don't think. So getting this thing out of the way now is totally fine with me. Hopefully he doesn't have a counter. We can get the Plague Nurse down. So we're going to need to probably kill this thing soon. We're at five. A couple more proliferate plus an attack this turn. We're going to be at like eight pretty soon. That is actually fine. I'm more worried about our poison than our actual life total here. So Probably just gonna chump or trade off here. I guess we're on a two turn clock just with actual damage now because that's six flying. Not really much we can do anyways, so. No point sitting back because we couldn't block anyways, so might as well trade off if he's willing to. Poison out pretty soon if we do not have an answer. screwed just not enough removal there kind of screwed us over shows you how strong blue black is too i think it's probably the strongest color combination in the format just drawing cards and giving poison counters and having access to pretty good removal in black just seems like such a strong strategy you don't even need the best cards either they can just have couple of those cards where you draw a card and give the person a poison token and poison counter and uh... alright we go first here
not really sure what this uh, avatar is. Humpty Dumpty or something? Keep the pressure on here. Hopefully, we can outrace these uh, poison counters. Hopefully, that extra poison doesn't kill us from this guy. Contemplating blocking it, but I think we got to keep pressure on. Well, again, too much land here. We can play the Dune Mover. Then that'll... I can block the Hive Master at least. Don't really want to trade off this for that. If he kills something here, then I guess I will, but... He's going to also have to play defensively here unless he's got something else to block or he's got some removal he'll probably still swing in with a 2-1 which is fine we do have this ability to tap down for 4 mana too so although at this point I think just having an extra damage might almost be better you realize that that I could tap something down so I kind of forgot you could still use this ability for four mana counters so I'm gonna take one from that if this dies I 
Too bad we didn't have any poison counters. If we had... If we had something to tap it down, if we survive this turn, I think we'll win, especially with Charge of the Mites. That's annoying. I knew drawing those cards was the wrong choice there. I probably should have just sat back. That's really frustrating. Oh well. My own fault there. Alright, well thanks for watching. Bit of a play mistake there. I should have just sat back, tapped down his uh, creature, but got three wins. Live and learn. Deck wasn't the best. Hope you enjoyed the video though. Till next time.